Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. So in my last video, I gave you a first impressions of Nvidia's GeForce Now for Mac streaming service, and we found out that it can give Mac OS users a glimpse of some PC Master Race gaming action. But one thing that I didn't test was how good of an internet connection you need for the service to actually be worth it. So today, I'm gonna really push it to the limit. So let's get into it. All right, so we're out here in the middle of nowhere, naked and afraid style. Well, I'm not actually naked and I'm not really afraid either. I live about five miles away, but whatever. We're out here at the lake, no Wi-Fi signal in sight. And today I'm gonna be trying to tether my phone's internet connection to my MacBook to see if we can still stream some games. I'm gonna set up an outdoor MacBook gaming adventure here in the back of my truck and see just how smoothly we can stream games from the cloud to my 2012 MacBook Pro. Okay, so if you haven't seen my first video of GeForce Now, I highly recommend checking that out first. But basically, you control a virtual PC in the cloud and that's packed with some serious gaming components and then you stream that PC to your Mac OS device provided you have a good enough internet connection. Hopefully we do. So like I explained in the first video, with GeForce Now, I'm able to play my own Steam and Battle.net library on Nvidia's own powerful gaming PC in the cloud. Here you can see that there are a ton of games that are already supported, and by supported, I mean they download and install instantly, they stay up to date, and the graphic settings are already set for you so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so before we get into actually streaming games, we gotta check out this internet and see what we're working with. So like I said, I'm gonna be tethering my iPhone 7 Plus's cellular data to my MacBook OS, and hopefully it's good enough. Here is a simple speed test of what I'm getting from my MacBook Pro, and this is definitely not the 150 down and 150 up that I have at home and used in the first video, but hey, this is how we push it to the limit. The first game I'm gonna be testing is none other than Counter-Strike Global Offensive, because why would we test anything other than one of the most highly competitive titles in PC gaming, where having a consistent frame rate and a solid internet connection is a must. When I booted up CSGO with our tethered internet connection, I was already surprised by just how fast the game was running in the menu system. There were virtually no hiccups and things were starting to look good. Before jumping into a game, I took a peek at what settings Nvidia had already Already selected because CSGO is a supported game and everything was still set to high. Keep in mind that I'm using a super old 2012 MacBook Pro and the max resolution was only 800p, but I would assume that streaming in 1080p wouldn't be a huge difference. So here we are in the middle of a game and like I imagine, this game is running pretty dang smoothly. Now let's be realistic here, it's definitely not 100% consistent like when it was when I tested it at home, but this is way beyond what I would consider playable and unless you're a competitive esport player competing for money, this is definitely doable. My frames per second stayed right at 58 to 60 FPS and there were only a minimal amount of dropped frames and lag spikes, most likely due to my phone's internet connection out here in the middle of nowhere. The next game I decided to fire up was Killing Floor 2 because at higher settings this game actually looks beautiful and CSGO was definitely not graphically demanding or anything. To my surprise once again, Nvidia has already selected ultra settings and honestly that's pretty ballsy because I don't think they anticipated people streaming games out here in the wilderness on a phone's connection. Either way, I fired up some offline solo mode and for the first time in all my GeForce Now testing, I wasn't surprised. The game ran super smoothly right around 60 FPS and the game still looked great. I could definitely play this for hours and hours provided I had enough battery power out here and I can really experience the PC Master Race gaming on a MacBook. Now you might be asking why I came all the way out here to test this service, but I honestly think that this applies to the people that are actually interested in GeForce Now. Now no, I don't think people are gonna come all the way out here to stream some games, but I think this did portray the capabilities of this service with a poor internet connection. Think about the college student that brought a MacBook to campus and had to leave their gaming PC at home, or a traveling employee that lives in hotels all week and only has their work MacBook and a crappy hotel internet connection. After testing out this service, I honestly have to give props to Nvidia for their GeForce Now service, I think this will open up a lot of opportunities for people that want a game on a MacBook. Now let's head back to the studio to wrap this video up. Well that wraps up my second video for the NVIDIA GeForce Now for Mac streaming service. I want to give NVIDIA another huge thank you for hooking me and you guys up with instant beta access to this baller service. Use the links down in the description and you'll get instant access to the beta so you can try this out for free. This was a lot of fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like, 
down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.